Open Heaven Daily Devotional August 17, 2024 Saturday Topic Prayer Contaminants Memorize Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Bible Reading Proverbs 18 verse 20 to 21 A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Message Certain things can contaminate our prayers, such that they weaken our prayers and their possible results. One such thing is speaking words that are against what we are praying for. When you pray about your country, for example, and later join others in saying that nothing good can come out of that same country, you have contaminated your prayer already. Don't pray for God to give life to something and then turn around to speak death into that same thing, you will not get results from such a prayer. Joel 3 verse 10 says, Let the weak say, I am strong. In other words, if you have prayed for strength, but can still see traces of weakness in you, at that point, say, I am strong. As your words go in line with your prayers, they will remain potent enough to deliver the results you seek. When you pray about something, it is important that your words and thoughts agree with your prayer. This way, you will not stand in the way of the answer to your prayer. Another thing that contaminates prayers is a lack of concentration while praying. This is when people pray, but their hearts are not in the prayer. Rather, their minds are occupied with other things. The devil knows that if your mind is distracted while praying, your prayer will not carry as much power as it should. Therefore, whenever you decide to pray, he will begin to remind you of things you are yet to do and places that you ought to have gone to. His plan is to occupy your mind with other things so that you will become distracted and lose your concentration as you pray. Whenever you find your mind wandering while praying, write down the things that you ought to have done, put the note aside, and continue to pray. Train your mind to keep all distractions away, and don't give room for them to disturb your connection to God in the place of prayer. With time, as you continually train your mind, you will get good at focusing on God while praying. Key Point If you want your prayers to remain potent and powerful enough to deliver results, make sure they are not contaminated. Bible in One Year Jeremiah 47-48 Please join us tomorrow for another interesting topic. RCCG Open Heaven Devotional written by Pastor Enoch Adajira Adeboy, Jean Real Overseer.